you'd be made mandatory for the European title. Do you see that as just another stepping stone? Or yeah, is it's just another stepping stone. Like I said, the European title is a good title to have as well. But it's just another stepping stone. Naz had that same title. Uh, Frampton had it before that, and a lot of kids have had that European title. Brendan Munro had it before that, and all qualifiers have had the European title. Winning the British mandatory for the European is this the perfect way to set up 2014? Yeah, like I said, I need to clean up domestically in European and then get myself onto the world level. Do you feel ready for the world level? Yeah, like I said, by the time I get there within two or three fights, I'll be 100% ready. Frampton, you've mentioned him yourself, yeah. he was the European title holder when you were made mandatory, obviously there's a bit of rivalry there, yeah. what do you make to him relinquishing that title instead of fighting? I just don't understand why you would give a title up if you think the fight was such an easy fight. Everybody wanted to see that fight, it's a 50-50 fight, I don't, I don't understand that, me personally I don't believe he's got the confidence to, I don't think he's got the confidence that he, he thinks he can beat me, I know he doesn't, I know Baron McGregor doesn't. I don't think they've got the confidence in them. Styles make fights. They said that it's because they're aiming and targeting a world title, yeah. maybe Kiko Martinez who he's fought before. But do you see more of a case of escaping you? It's because yeah, it's a risky fight for him. I don't understand. I know people say it's a risky fight, but he's saying it's such a, it'd be such an easy fight. Why not take it? Because f for the next six months he has to wait. Because who is he going to fight for the for the world title? So he's not managing challenging no more. So who's he going to fight? Now he's not, he, he hasn't got nothing. He's high in the, in the world rankings, but he hasn't got nothing to bargain with. So you think he'd have brought more to the table? Yeah, if he had, if he had the European title, he'd have a bit more to bargain with, wouldn't he? Looking ahead to your opponent, you're fighting Spanish contender Sergio Prado. Have yeah. you seen much of him? One or two clips. He looks like a decent kid. He can come forward, he's strong. He can box a bit and uh, he's there to win. He's a former Spanish super bantamweight champion. champion yeah. He's the current EBU EU champion. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be training for him yeah. as hard as you would anybody else? I train. It doesn't matter who it is. The day you underestimate any fighter is the day you'll get beat. And like I said, you can't take no one lightly. You got to train like it's this is your last fight. And that's where that's where champions come. That's how champions are made. First one in the gym, last one out. Yeah, you got to be.